if you're someone who wants to start a business online, maybe wants to work full time from home, or you love your job, but you just want to make some extra cash. Now, of course, if you've been in business a few years, but you're still maybe not seeing the results that you want, then this video is for you. I'm actually going to walk through you the steps that you need to do to start a business and something that would be beneficial. This is something that I would have loved to actually have the information to because I kind of pieced it together and was sporadic all over the place. So the first five years took me a long time to even see success. I actually worked part time at a bar while I was working on my business part time and then I went, you know, full time and worked full time for now the past two years. So. If that's something that would be beneficial to you and that's something that you want to be doing then watch this video i actually have a four-step process that walks you through the exact way i find my audience and close sales on instagram it has a bonus video inside i'll leave the link for you you can get that on the screen or download it okay the first recommendation i would make when you're starting a business you want to pick a platform um, what social media platform do you want to use to find your audience and bring in customers into your business? Now, this can be Instagram, this can be Facebook, this can be Twitter, this can be YouTube. You can incorporate it. Now, keep in mind, you don't want to spread yourself too thin. When I first started, I actually was like, okay, I learned I had to be all over the place. I wanted to, you know, dominate it so everyone could find me on every platform. So I have Pinterest, I have Twitter, I have Tumblr, I have YouTube, I have Facebook, I have Instagram. Think of the social media platforms and I got it. Well, I wasn't growing. Simple, simple fact is, is I was spreading myself way too thin. I was spreading so much time coming up with content and posting it and not growing a platform that no one was really finding me. So pick one platform. I would really recommend one platform to start with um, so you actually grow from there and you can actually focus on that. And then once you have that following, you can actually incorporate another account and incorporate that there. So I actually was, when I was doing it, I was really on Facebook a lot more and Instagram a little bit more. And I was like, okay, well, why am I not spending all my time on Instagram? Because that's where I'm actually getting my results. Facebook, I wasn't getting results like that. Instagram is where I was actually getting responses from people and actually closing sales. So yes, I still post on Facebook, but Instagram is where I focus on. I post all my content on um, Instagram. I focus all my, you know, messaging, all that stuff on Instagram. And I use YouTube to drive more traffic to it because I learned how to rank videos. So if that's something that you don't really know how to do, I would maybe hold off on YouTube because that's something you have to learn. Because if you're posting a video on YouTube but it's not ranking to get seen in the search engine, well, that's gonna be really hard to drive traffic. Now, of course, if you have the time and you're willing to put in the time to make your videos, edit your videos, publish your videos, then by all means do it. But if you're short on time and don't have a lot of time, I would pick a like Instagram or Facebook to focus on and do that. So the second thing I would make sure I know I'm doing if I would go back in time and fix what I did um, is to know what I'm selling. There was a lot of question. You may be like, okay, well, I'm selling this product or I want to sell this product or I want to um, offer this opportunity or I want to sell that opportunity. And you're kind of all over the place. and You don't really have a lasered and focus on what you're selling and doing. Well, if you don't really know what you're doing, your potential customer isn't going to know what you're doing. So really know what you're doing. Like when I first started, I started with um, a network marketing company and it was okay. I didn't really have the passion there, so I did not see any success there. On the other hand, my boyfriend was had lots of success with it because one, he ranked his videos and two, he was more um, in, into it than I was. So then we started doing like you know blogging platforms and selling stuff like that and that's something that i was more interested in did um but i still didn't really do as well in that because i didn't have um necessarily the passion there and people and i didn't know as much as i did now about building websites um so then i got into instagram and i actually saw growth and success there and saw sales so i was like okay i'm going to make my own course and actually sell it so i started off selling my course for i think it was five bucks seven bucks really really cheap um and as it grows and as my knowledge grows and the more information i put in i actually continue to raise the price so that's something that if that's something you're interested in you can do that as well but know what you're selling know what you're doing let's say you're in a network marketing company and you offer lots of different products and services, you need to know what it is. Know, know your products ins and outs. Know what they can benefit. Know what they can do for people. That way you can actually find those people and sell it to them. If you don't really know your products that well, you're not going to be able to sell them.
much as if you don't really believe in your products you're really not gonna be able to sell them so I'm talking about knowing what you're selling, but if you're like someone who's like, okay, well that's great, Christina, but I actually am interested in starting a business, but I don't really have anything to sell yet. What you can do is you can actually find affiliate companies that you're maybe passionate about. Like there is affiliate programs that you can join. Um, look at maybe products you buy or services you buy and see if they have affiliate programs you, or referral programs. You can actually start with that and start getting some referral programs, affiliate programs don't necessarily offer cash and some do, but some will offer like a monthly subscription or certain off on the subscription you have. So you can start um, seeing results in that way and learn a little bit something about that. Or you can take it a step deeper. There's this program I use called Wealthy Affiliate. This is exactly how I built my website and I learned how to build my website. And inside it's community and training that actually teaches you step by step how to set it up and you can actually set it up for affiliate programs for like if you want to sell Amazon products and stuff like that so if that's something that you'd be interested in I'll leave the link below for you and check that out it's wealthy affiliate the third thing when you're starting your business I recommend you do is keep it simple you may think you need all these different tools and all these different resources to help you grow your business the fact of the matter is you do not you can actually start with something simple let's say you want a um, a questionnaire or a form where people fill it out before or after they purchase from you so you learn more or to see if they would be a good fit for your business use Google Forms Google Forms is free I still use Google Forms I think it's a great place to do a questionnaire Sure, there's other platforms you can use. I think it was Typeform. Um, I used to, four or five years ago, I actually invested in Typeform and I was actually throwing money out the window because the amount of people that were coming in, it wasn't worth me spending on it. Because the thing is, is you want to actually grow and have more money coming in so you're actually able to invest more. If you're spending more than you're making, then it's not worth it. Um, let's say you want to schedule appointments for people. Calendly is a great place to do that. It's free and you can actually have people schedule their appointments there. And um, you can, you know, schedule the Zoom calls, phone calls, and it goes directly to Google and saves in the calendar and stuff. So that's really convenient. The fourth thing you need to know when you're growing your business is have an idea of who your customer is. You may not know exactly who your target market is or who your niche is, but you have an idea. Let's say um, you're you're selling you know fitness products and you and your idea is okay i want to work with um uh women who want to lose weight or i want to work with uh, men who want to gain muscles or um, stuff like that you would have an idea of what you're doing so you might find men who are interested in fitness or who are um talking about you know their new year's resolutions or stuff like that same thing for women and you would start talking with these people but as you're talking with them, you'll learn, okay, maybe this is, I need to do a different area. Maybe it's more suitable. And you'll find out as you're testing out who your audience is. You, you don't just know. Like when I first started, I thought I just knew and I, and I didn't. So this is also trial and error. So you can't, you don't need to get, you don't need to get discouraged. You don't need to get it perfect the first time. This is something you will learn as you grow. The fifth thing I recommend that you do when you're starting your business is taking action and staying consistent. This may sound so simple and so trivial, but it's a fact that a lot of people do not do. People will start a business or get going and in a week or two weeks, they're not seeing the results or hitting their goals that they wanted and then they quit. Then they're like, okay, this isn't working. This is, you know, this home business is a scam. It's a pyramid scheme or, or whatever it may be. I'm not saying there's not, you know, pyramid scams or Ill illegitimate businesses, but there are a lot of places that do offer great products, great services that you don't need to create your own product or service yet. You can actually sell them and make money from it. And this is something that you just need to take action with. Like you need to stay consistent and continuously do it. It doesn't happen overnight. You don't just blow up overnight. Sure, some people may do it, but that is like a rare, rare occasion. It's consistency, consistency, consistency. And you see anyone that has grown or anyone that is making money, they stay consistent in it. They dedicate a certain amount of time a day, a certain amount of time a week to work on their business. Now, if you only have 30 minutes a day, make those the best 30 minutes of your day on your business so that way you can grow and spend more time later on in your business. Figure out what works for you and do it. That is a-okay. Now you know the five major things that I wish I knew when I started my business and I actually took action on it did because it, I told you, if you watch my other video, I talked about the seven mistakes I made that cost me lots of time, money, and growth in my business. And a lot of it was not taking action on it and not doing it and not knowing some of these things that I'm sharing with you in this video. So 
Now before we go, I'm gonna actually give you some tools that I would recommend you use for your business. I actually list all these tools on my website. It's thechristinaspoor.com backslash tools. I'll leave the link for you to here, click or down below in the description. But the one thing I recommend, or the few tools I do really recommend is one, Aweber. Aweber is a great place to build your email list. An email list is where you collect people's information like their name or email and I'm sure you've opted in and entered your name or email for like a PDF or for um, a video or a webinar or something that you gave your information for and that's an email list, okay? That's something that you would do and you would keep, okay? The other thing I'd recommend is Canva. Canva is where you can actually go create all your graphics. Anything on my website, any graphics you see, I created it on Canva and it's free as well. Uh, Airtable is another recommendation I would do. It's a great place to do spreadsheets, plan your content, things like that. Like I plan all my YouTube scripts, uh, Instagram content. I keep track of all my expenses and much more on Airtable. And I mentioned this tool earlier, um, it's where you can actually build your website, it's Wealthy Affiliate. Um, this is a great place where you can actually learn a lot about growing your business online, um, affiliate programs, and building your own website. So go check out those tools if that's something that'd be beneficial for you when you're starting out your business. Of course, if you're looking for additional help and guidance in your business, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. You can always go check that out. I'll leave the link below for you, and I can help you grow your business online, find your audience and close more sales. So with that being said, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any videos. I release a video every week and I'll see you in next week's video. Have a wonderful week, month, whenever you're watching this video. Thanks.